Have you ever been hated or discriminated against? I have. With his rapid flow, hypnotizing storytelling techniques, and the ability to deliver double to quadruple entendre, Eminem is undoubtedly one of the top tire lyricists of all time. Love him or hate him, M for sure has accomplished a lot in his musical career and has had a massive impact on rap culture by being the first solo white rapper to break in the industry. In this list today, we're counting down the top 10 greatest sets by Eminem. Number 10, The Way I Am. In the tradition of most Eminem's follow-up singles, The Way I Am features a much darker and emotionally driven sound than his lead single The Real Slim Shady from the 2005 album The Marshall Mathers LP. In this song, Eminem responds to the people who expect him to do certain things and behave in a certain way, asserting that he will not change to appease record companies, critics, and even his fans. The track is also one of M's earliest songs for which he has sole songwriting credit. Number 9, The Real Slim Shady. The Real Slim Shady is the quintessential early Eminem song, funny and serious simultaneously with crazy rhyme schemes and lyrical devices. Nothing, you idiots, Dr. Dre's dead, he's locked him up in Slim Shady is no one but one of his alter egos, along with Eminem and Marshall Mathers, which is his real name. On this track, Slim goes off outrageously on his critics, throwing in loads of pop culture and celebrity references along the way. The Real Slim Shady is meant to be a parody of stereotypical pop songs, although many listeners back in those days didn't really get the irony. Number 8, Cleaning Out My Closet. Have you ever been hated or discriminated against? I have. In this song, released from his 2002 album The Eminem Show, Marshall raps about his father abandoning him as a child, his turbulent affair with his ex wife Kim, and his irreparably damaged relationship with his mother Debbie. With the taste of sour with vinegar in their mouth, see, they can trigger me. Cleaning Up My Closet is a song inspired by the real events of Eminem's childhood and relationships. It depicts Eminem venting his anger toward his mother Debbie Mathers for the way she raised him. Sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. In the chorus, Eminem sarcastically apologizes to his mother for hunting her and making her cry but takes it back by showing the world what his mother, according to him, was like. Number 7, Rap God. In this braggadocious track, Eminem over its 6 minute runtime references comic books, throws back to his old songs, and raps crazy fast. With mouth filling 1560 words packed into 6 minutes and 4 seconds runtime, Rap God also landed Eminem a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most words in a hit single. The song has references to previous conflicts in Eminem's career, as well as to other rappers' conduct with very positive reviews from critics praising M's lyrical ability and rapping speed. Number 6, Not Afraid. You can try and read my lyrics off of this paper before I lay him, but you won't take this thing out these Released as a single from his 2010 album Recovery, Not Afraid is an inspirational and brutally honest anthem for Eminem's fans addressing that of his struggles and triumphs and encouraging his fans to reach their triumphs as well. When interviewed by Rolling Stones, Eminem said that Not Afraid has positive message for people trying to overcome obstacles. The song reflects more positive mood of the album and finds Eminem rapping on how he has tried to overcome his personal troubles, such as his battles with drug addiction. Number 5, Without Me. Two trailer park girls go round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Eminem's realization of his importance to the rap game and his claim that it wouldn't be the same without him is the essence of the song Without Me from the album The Eminem Show in 2002. 
I've created a monster Cause nobody wants to see more So no more they want shady I'm chopped liver Without Me is recognized to be one of the densest raps in history and one of M's most well-known and most recognizable songs that has also been included in the soundtrack for the 2016 film Suicide Squad. Without Me mocks a number of Eminem's critics, saying that he is back to save the world. The song is intended to be a sequel to the real Slim Shady and refers to Eminem's role in the music industry and his effect on the rap culture. Number 4, The Monster. Friends with the monster, the son of my bed. Get along with The Monster is Eminem's fourth single from the Marshall Mathers LP2, and coincidentally, it also marks the fourth collaboration between Eminem and Rihanna. I wanted the fame, but not the cover a news week. Oh well, guess beggars can't be choosy. Wanted to receive. This dark and emotional track has Eminem considering his shady alter ego a monster. The monster could also be the fame which has taken so much from him, or perhaps the true monster is his mind and the demons that plague it. But I'm actually weirder than you think, cause I'm, I'm friends with the monster, the son of my bed. The song's hook was co-written by B.B. Rexa and John Bellion and went on to win the award for Best Rap Song Collaboration at the 2015 Grammys. Number 3, Stan. In this song from Marshall Mathers' LP in the year 2000 featuring the British singer Dido, Eminem corresponds with a crazy fan who becomes increasingly unhinged as the story progresses. Dear Slim, I wrote you but you still ain't calling. I left myself, my pager and my home phone at the bottom. Eminem intended for this song to be a message to fans who had written him disturbing letters indicating that they had taken the Slim Shady LP's violent lyrics seriously. Another reason Eminem wrote this was to make the critics who were saying things about him feel stupid. I meant to write you sooner, but I just been busy. You said your girlfriend's pregnant now. His aim was to disprove those who felt that he lacked talent and relied on shock value. This song eventually has cemented itself in history, with Stan being entered into the Oxford Dictionary as an official word in English. Number 2. Love the way you lie. Watch me burn. Well, that's all right. This super hit song from 2010 saw Eminem and Rihanna reflect on their ambivalent and abusive relationships with their respective ex-partners Kim and Chris Brown. I can't tell you what it really is. I can only tell you what it feels like. And right now it's a still Em wrote his verses and reached out to Rihanna asking her to sing the chorus as she like him had experienced an abusive relationship and he felt the song would resonate and connect with her. You ever love somebody so much you can barely breathe when you're with them you meet and neither one of you even this track is Eminem's biggest selling single ever with over 6 million copies sold in the US alone. Later that year, Eminem and Rihanna recorded a sequel to the song entitled Love The Way You Lie Part 2 which was narrated primarily from Rihanna's perspective. Number 1. Lose Yourself Look. If you had Lose Yourself is the theme song from Eminem's semi-biographical movie 8 Mile, released in 2002. It's considered to be one of Eminem's best songs and his biggest hit to date. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on his sweater already, mom's forget. The song's lyrics explicitly sum up the background of Eminem's character in 8 Mile B Rabbit, with the first verse summing up much of the plot of the movie. The song incorporates several aggressive themes, largely dealing with the struggles dealt by B Rabbit and how he evolved eventually overcomes his many problems and obstacles to gain the respect of other rappers. Lose Yourself won the Academy Award for the Best Original Song, making it the first hip-hop song to receive the award, and also won the Grammy Award for Best Rap Song and Best Rap Solo Performance. Alright guys, that's the end of our list of top 10 greatest hits by Eminem. Thank you so much for watching the video. What's your favorite song by Eminem? Let us know in the comments below. For more interesting videos like this, click on our channel and subscribe for more. See you guys in the next one.